skin is skin is skinning right now. Skin is skin is. You wanna talk about my eyes? Are you gonna fight? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Got a lot of pains, got a lot of I feel on me. I gotta feel myself off. I gotta feel myself off. I gotta feel it out. Hey, it's T here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been here from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all of them. Thank you so much. You're my dog for life. If you new here, then definitely hit all the like buttons, all of that. Please leave a comment below on this crazy story time. Um, I tried to attempt to do a UK girly makeup and tell you my story about a crazy break experience where I almost fought a lady a hygienist actually um years ago and what do you think of my makeup if you want to see how I tried to attempt to be a UK baddie a UK girly then definitely keep up and keep watching and as always I thank you so much for supporting this channel and I'll see you next time <laughs> hi so it's t here i'm back with another video i decided i'm gonna just do my video with me doing my makeup on a like drugstore type vibe so i'm only gonna use drugstore products and i'm just gonna talk while we do it i got my little drink and this is like a chapstick that you can get on amazon i think they are so cute because they're so small so this is the nyx face freezy I got this sample a while ago and um, it comes out like a jelly. It's LA Girl Pro and I'm gonna use the color Cool Tan and I'm gonna use this all over like just here. Oh, I'm gonna use this here and here because the UK girls want you to lift your face. They are all about lifting. And they do not use beauty blenders. They use brushes. And they don't do the contour or the concealer here either. Okay, never mind. Not a Morphe brush. A foundation brush. And a matte finish. My NYX MAC finish. Matte finish. You can get this in a bigger size. So, I was working at a dental office. Um... After I started hygiene, probably like, I think this was like 2018, right? And I started this job in between another one because it's when I started hygiene, that first two years is so hard to find a job, right? It's so hard to find one consistent job. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just dragging my concealer all the way up my eye um because you want to have the concealer um this is my attempt at uk makeup please don't come for me but they like to drag the concealer all the way up the eye i got a little bit on my I'm gonna remove the makeup i got too hot up but you really want to focus the makeup upward and then you want to contain the makeup just under the eye as far as i know that's how they do it I got this job in 2018 as a second job because the one place I was working at officially was only about two days a week. And in order to survive as a hygienist, you need to work at least 30 to 36 to 40 hours a week, like 30 to 40 hours a week, right? So I was like, okay, this is good. I can get this. And it was gonna be me working Tuesday and Thursday from nine to nine. Yes, nine to nine, um, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it was actually two shifts. So there was hygienists who were working there like 9 a.m. to 5. And then there was one person who would come in at 5 p.m. and then work till 9. So the reason why this office was the office from hell was because the doctor that owned the practice, um, he just had no regard for management. Like he would not even listen to any of our complaints when we complained about like how insurance will be broken or um how nothing would be working in the room like he would just try to fix it himself and it just would not work out so he just was not a nice person and then his wife actually was like 
the manager after a while because the hygienist who started working there at first, um, like straight out of school, she was working there and she was the manager and he ended up like demoting her or whatever because she was like trying to stand up for all the hygienists and stuff. So I got this job, um, found it on Craigslist or something like that. I think it was on Craigslist or Indeed or whatever. Got hired on the spot. Didn't even realize that it was gonna be this crazy. So first red flag with the place was that none of the patients had x-rays taken. They, they did not take x-rays there. Like, I'm not talking straight, excuse me. It's this drink. These patients literally did not <clears throat> this is Milani. Come on, focus. Milani Cheek Kiss. This is a cream blush, um, liquid bl blush. This is obviously drugstore. Um, so I'm just gonna put that here and I'm gonna keep it here. So the UK girlies don't drag their makeup any further than this. And then they set with a powder as well. Um, so I just want to sit it right here and you just want to make sure that all the things that you're doing to your face is lifting. Um, and then I'm going to use this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe V111 and I got this in a Morphe set that I reviewed on my TikTok probably like six months ago. So I'm going to spray that with my matte finish spray from NYX again. And I'm just gonna contain the makeup in this spot right here. I'm not gonna drag it down my cheek or anything like that. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So it's a really pretty blush. I feel like it's really good for brown skin girls. Um, if you're trying to get something that's just not too, too, too like crazy, nothing too loud. And all I'm doing is just patting this down and just like trying to get it across my cheek but containing it right up here in this area so um got the job got hired on the spot um for anyone who's doing head dental hygiene who wants to know i was making 42 dollars an hour um so imagine making that in 12 hours real quick i only needed to work like three days a week so i could quit my other job but i was like i'm not gonna quit my other job because i really liked where I was at and I knew that that was more of a permanent thing because that job wasn't that bad, you know? So, ooh, this is looking so cute so far. Like, I like it. Let me turn the light down so you can see. Like, isn't that so pretty? So, um, you can kind of see how I'm looking so far. Um, like, I don't even really need foundation, but I'm gonna do foundation just a little bit um to kind of bring it all together working there for probably like two months mind you none of the patients have any x-rays taken um and they're only giving me 30 minutes for appointments so if you're not into dental hygiene then you know that that's like entirely impossible to do hygiene in 30 minutes it's so hard especially if they need x-rays an exam and a cleaning so the patients weren't getting x-rays done because we just didn't have enough time to do it so Patients aren't taking x-rays like this 2023 people wasn't taking x-rays since like 2018 which is illegal like you're supposed to get x-rays taken at least once a year so I like literally ugh, I, I was losing it because I just felt like it was unethical I was seeing cavities and like bone loss and like risk of like prey down disease and stuff and people literally was just like just not they were like oh it doesn't hurt nothing hurts me so and everybody was a profi and it's just like in real life not everybody's a profi not everybody's a healthy mouth so it was just driving me crazy i was just like oh my god this is such a lawsuit liability like i need to get my life together so in the meantime i'm going to be using the nyx um nyx total control pro in the color mocha i'll link this down below as well the NYX Total Pro in Mocha. I'm gonna use that and because I wanna keep this very light, I want my skin to show through, I'm only gonna use about like two drops, three drops per cheek. And then I'm gonna blend it out. So 
just that much. Morphe brush. I'm gonna use the Morphe V100 flat top brush. Just like this. Yeah, these brushes are dirty, I need to clean them. So I'm gonna wet my brush with my matte spray from NYX again. I'm gonna spray this on all the brushes I use in this video. So, excuse me. So I'm just gonna contain this all on my lower cheek area. I'm gonna bring it up my nose and around. Um, and then I'm gonna bring back in my blush in a second because I'm gonna set my blush. But um, yeah, let me turn this light down so you can see what I'm doing. So. When I say this NYX is so affordable, but it does match your skin perfectly if you get the right color. Like I also want to try the Demerica Maverick um, Mavericks um, skin tint, like her yummy skin tint. I want to try that um, because literally the way oh I wish I could see really for real like my skin flawless right now seriously like you can see a little bit of my blemishes underneath my skin but i mean honestly skin is skin is skinning right now skin is skin is skinning okay if that's what is that the phrase if that's the word the skin is skinning the skin is skinning so literally got this job working seeing that it's like a malpractice lawsuit ready to happen hell on wheels because I literally don't have a break. I'm tired. I'm trying to eat in between. It's not working. Patients are upset because they're waiting for so long. Like, I was losing it. Like, it was so hard for me to keep up with the schedule as a new hygienist. Like, and then also, 30 minutes is just not feasible. Like, you should not be trying to work 30 minutes and do and try to do an effective cleaning in 30 minutes. And the crazy part is, is that that type of pressure really taught me, like, that I can handle anything because... Those patients used to be waiting for an hour, 30 minutes. I used to be coming home at 11.30 every night because I used to run behind. Like, I literally used to run behind every night. Like, I was losing it. And they still will come back. They want to see me. Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. Um, and I'm going to use this for my highlight. Because remember, the UK girlies like their stuff very light. And I'm just going to put that there right here and um, that's it I'm gonna just keep it there and then I'm gonna go back and put my blush and I'm gonna set it the same brush we did before for our first highlight and we're gonna contour I mean blend this in even more so yeah so now one night I came in and one of the hygienists who's been working here for a long time, she always bragged about her having a boyfriend who owned a pizza shop or whatever. And mind you, this lady is so old. Like, like not so old, but she was old enough that it was like the action she had that I'm going to tell you, it was like ridiculous. You should not be acting like this. You in your 40s, late 40s. Like, why the fuck are you like arguing with me and fighting with me? So she's in the room that I'm supposed to be in. And mind you, there's only three hygiene rooms. So there was no reason why she was supposed to be in my room. Um, she was supposed to have been left, but she decided that she wanted to do a whitening last minute and called some random patient in to do a whitening. And at this office, he allowed certain hygienists to do certain things. Like he had favorites. So he was she was one of his favorites or whatever. And she was one of those girls, one of those ladies who like will just commission you to death. So she had whitening that she would call to come do because she would get like $100 on every whitening that she did. So like, let's say a, a whitening was 500, she'll get 100 off of that, like in her hand cash. Like this dentist was giving them cash. So I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be using a beauty blender, but I just can't leave it like this. It looks crazy. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so I need to use a different brush. This is not working. Literally, I come in my room. I'm like, um, hey, like, I pull her to the side. I'm like, um, hey, like, I'm supposed to be in this room today. Like, why are you in this room? Like, if you're about to be done, like, let me know. Like, I would like if 
you know, you would just let me know heads up that she was going to be in this room. She's like, this is what she fucked up at. She was like, <clears throat> I work tonight and I don't have any plans on changing rooms. I was like, this is my air spun. Um, this is the air spun studying powder. You can get this from Walgreens, Amazon, Target, Walmart. This is the loose face powder. Um, in the extra translucent coverage 07041 I don't know what that means I'm going to use this to set under my eye and then I'm going to come back put more of my blush and I'm going to set my blush what the UK girlies usually do that I forgot to do is I should have let my concealer sit I didn't let my concealer sit before I blended it in but anyway we just talking and vibing, okay, sis? We're not gonna worry about all the in between ins and outs. So literally, that was fighting words to me because at the time I was like 23, 24, and I was like, "You're not moving. There's only there's three hygienists here and there's only three rooms, and you're taking up two rooms. So you either gonna move or we got a problem. That's how I feel. Like you either gonna move, muévete, or we have a problem. Like." So she was just like, oh no, I'm just, I'm not moving. I'm doing my whitening in hair and I have a cleaning coming at 10. Like, you know, like a cleaning coming in 10 minutes. I'm not moving. So I said, okay, bet. So I went to the manager, mind you, the manager quit. So now it's his wife. The, the dentist who owns the practice, his wife is there. And also the other two dentists that worked there, one of them, he was very inappropriate with all the patients, very inappropriate with me, was always flirting with me. Very nasty man. And he was not old either. He was like in his 40s. And then like single and just like an asshole. And then um, it was just a mess. So I was like, ew. So his wife is there, so passive. Like the patients would be yelling at her. She just like starts crying. Like it was horrible. So literally I go up to her because I had no choice. I go up to her like, hey, because the dentist is not there. I'm just like, hey, um, mind you, the dentist, he would come. Mind you, the dentist he would come in at 9:30. Mind you, the office has been open since 8. He would come in at 9:30, see his patients, go on an hour and a half break in a Corvette that wasn't even registered, had no license plates, driving around dirty, no tags. Yes, in New York City, in New York City with no tags, no license plates, and literally would like. I'm just brushing it away with this brush. This is a Morphe V106 brush. I'm just brushing away that setting powder because we don't want to bake too long. We just want to kind of be like light a little bit. And literally drive off and I swear to God, his wife will come and be like, hey, have you seen her? I'm like, no, I haven't seen him. Like, she's like, oh, well, we we're supposed to meet up or whatever. Like, I'll be calling him. He's not answering the phone. I swear that man was cheating on that lady, but that's none of my business. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water blush on my cheek. It's the same um, Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Berry Smooch. Um, so I'm just gonna blend this out again with this brush to bring back that blush color in my face. And I'm just bringing that upward and I'm just dabbing. I'm not dragging it. I'm just dabbing it and bringing it upward, just following my eye line and my cheekbone line. But I'm not bringing it all the way down here. I'm just trying to like showcase this whole circular part of my face. So she's like, oh, well, you know, I'm, let me try not to use people's names. She's like, oh, well, you know, uh, well, you know, Jennifer, she, you know how she is. Like, she's very like, you know, she's she's trying to uh, make an excuses for her. Like, oh, you know, she's trying to get to her bag right now. Like, she didn't say that, but she's she's trying to hustle, make her commission. So I'm like, OK, but I have no room to see my patients. Like, I'm not going home. Like, I plan on working today. Like, and at the time, like, I was really trying to move out. So I was trying to make money, you know, so I was like, I was trying to move my mom, move out my mom's house. So I was like. I'm not about to take this from you. Like, I need my money right now. I'm working, period. So, um, she was just like, 
giving me bullshit answers. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to handle this myself. I tried calling the doctor. Doctor would not answer the phone. Rose blush duo. And I'm gonna just use this. I don't have anything that was like drugstore-ish, but you can just use any pink blush. And I'm just gonna use this pink blush to set it. And like I said, I'm just bringing that upward. This is, this is my spin on the UK girly makeup, okay? Because at this point, it's not really giving UK girly makeup at all now. Ugh. So I'm going to take my foundation brush to kind of correct this redness that I'm looking at right here and just kind of like take away some of that blush that I just put on that I feel like is too red and too pink and kind of like blend it out a little bit. Kind of light off so y'all can see. So I just wanted to blend that out real quick. Just blend out. It's still very pretty, but I feel like we're Maybelline Nude Blushed Palette. Fluffy bristle brush. A very fluffy brush. It's gonna use this shimmery brown right here. And I'm gonna use this just to get into my crease. So yeah, so the lady, I get to her and I'm like, hey, like, and I just lied. I was like, hey, um, the manager said that you have to move. Like, you can't be in my room because literally like, and mind you, the patient is like snoring. Like the patient is doing a whitening and he's snoring, okay? So I was literally like, girl, girl, you need to move out of my room. Like, I'm not about to let you sit in my room. Like, you need to leave. And she was just like, won't they make me leave? I was like, Oh, you wanna, you wanna talk about my Are you wanna fight? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? We can do this. You wanna fight? We can do this. We can really do this. So I was like, okay, copy. So now the patient is like on this last session. Mind you, I have like probably like 10 minutes until my patient comes now at this point. And so all I'm doing is taking that color. All I'm doing, all I'm doing is taking this brown color this brown color right here and I'm just making swirling motions and dragging it in and out of my crease um yeah so I was like okay cool so the patient gets up and you know she's finished with him or whatever and mind you it's it's already tension so the patient feels the tension while he sees me in the lab or whatever like you can feel the tension in, in the office and um in the office and the other hygienist who's there who is just such a pushover she was just like oh you know, you don't want to fight me. She runs shit over here. Like, she runs things. Like, she'll get you fired. I was like, I don't give a f I was mad when I was like, I don't give a f who gets me fired or nothing like that. I don't need this f I'm like, I'm just here to get my money. Like, I'm not about that. I'm professional. There's no reason why you need to be out here treating me like this. Like, I really help these patients. I was going off. So, then the room is empty now. So, I jump in the room and I start wiping it. Yes, I did. I jumped in the room acting like I was about to put my stuff in there. So she comes in and she's like, um, what are you doing? I was like, I'm in this room today. She's like, and then the reason why she won this room so bad is because this room had like a really good temperature because this office was old. So this room used to be like the only room that didn't feel cold, didn't feel hot. It was perfect temperature. It had a window, you know, um, it was close to the back door so you could go in and out like it's a perfect room. It was just a room that everybody wanted to be in. Everything worked. None of the water leaked. Like, if you're doing a cleaning, you didn't have to worry about, like, the Cavatron leaking or anything like that. Like, it was the perfect room. So she knew what she was doing. But I was not about to play with her because that was the room I was supposed to be in that day. So anyway, so she was like, what are you doing? I was like, ignoring her. Like, I'm just not about to talk to you because me and you about to really fight for real. I was taking everything that she was using. I didn't let her clean the room up. I started cleaning the room. So I was kind of being confrontational kind of. But I didn't care. Let me do the contour button nose thing that they be doing. A really skinny brush. This is the LA Pro Girl Color Concealer in Color Toast. The UK girlies love them a whole button nose. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is starting to look crazy now. I might be gonna lie. So I just took my V108 brush and I'm just blending out this fake button I just made. 
or whatever. Black Radiance um, Contour Palette. And we have really dark, medium, and shiny highlight in here. I'm gonna take my really dark and just. Now I look like Rudolph. I don't like this. Beauty Blender. Kind of wiped it off. All right. I'm gonna use this Sculpt color in the middle that's kind of brown and I'm just gonna brush it onto my nose so now she literally is taking the wipe out of my hand now like now she's touching me now sis is touching me mind you I'm I'm african-american she's caucasity right so she's in her caucasity moment so I was like girl like you're you're touching me and she's just like you're not about to clean this room. This is not your room. You're not going to be in here today. I don't know why you're touching my stuff. You're touching my stuff. And she's just like losing it. And I'm just like, girl, like you're really losing it for no reason. Like you're not even supposed to be even be in here. Like she's like, you little young bitch, like calling me names, screaming at me, cursing at me. And then all of a sudden I just feel like a nudge on my shoulder. So after that, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I just, I picked up the tray, I threw the tray at her. Like now, it's, we screaming, we yelling, it's getting, it's getting hot, it's getting hot, it's hot now. It's, it's, everything is up, it's turned now. So then she's like, what are you doing? Oh my God, like you're crazy. Like, you're not about to be in here. Like, you shouldn't have started working here. This is the problem with you young girls. Like she was like, come, just kept calling me young, like. I think she had like a complex like why are you so mad at me about being young are you mad are you mad sis are you mad like she was losing it and literally I just felt like something like like this might sound crazy but I really I'm gonna use my NYX um epic eyeliner ink pen it's like a felt tip pen edge that's when everything went downhill with this damn eyeliner. I cannot. It looked horrible. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna use it just to put like a little wing. Not a crazy wing, just a little wing. Just like that. You feel me? And then I'm gonna use the other side to do a little wing too. And this is like the best eyeliner, honestly. Oh, did this one too thick. I want it to just be like a little, like, just a little wing. I didn't want it to be like a crazy thick wing. Girl, this is looking crazy. It's so hard to talk and do makeup at the same time. I'm going to blame it on that. So, you know how I want to be cousins and don't be sisters, you know? So, I'm gonna put on my Dural Lip Plumper. So this is the Vitamin E, and then this yellow one is the Lip Plumper. I like to put this on to like, just give my lips that like, that pump, pump up, pump up look. And then, um, whoop. I'm just gonna put on the Lip Plumper right after, and it actually does kind of burn. I got this from Amazon, I'm gonna link it below. It's not that bad though. I'm gonna wipe it off and then like do my lip liner and stuff. Also, if you wanted to, you could use the Plump Back Up NYX Plump Back Up. Um, plump Right Back with Electrolytes. I would've used this. Yeah, so we're like literally screaming and yelling at each other and then something in me literally, I was saying like spiritually came down and was like, leave. Leave. Leave this job, leave it, leave it, quit, leave it, leave it, leave it. You'll find another job, you'll find the money, you'll find it, leave. And I was just like, had like an out of body experience. And I was just like, I'ma blame it on like, like my, um, I'ma blame it on my spiritual guides. I don't know, like something out there was just like, get the out of there. Like you don't need to be there no more. So I literally just got up, got my stuff. Like, well, I was standing anyway, but I literally just walked past the lady that was screaming and yelling. And I just got my stuff and I just walked out. Like, I just walked out. Like I walked out 
my patient was there already everything and i just walked out i just walked I'm not gonna lie, I walked out, I was angry, I was frustrated, I called my mom, I called everybody that I could call, I was just so mad and I went home. I put my hands on this lady and I never looked back, like literally, I think they like mailed me a check or something for my last check or they like direct deposited it to me but I never stepped foot in that office and do you know, uh, ever again, and do you know that the doctor never called me? His wife called me, the manager, quote unquote, the manager called me to see how I was doing. It was like, please T, come back. Like we were looking for a hygienist for the time slot. Like she apologized. Like it was just a misunderstanding. And I'm just like, no. If you heard me in the back screaming and yelling with another hygienist, why would you think that I would come back to this? Like y'all love chaos. Y'all are ghetto. Y'all are dramatic. Y'all are drama. Y'all are you're the drama you're the drama you're the drama like you wanted me to be in this situation because you did nothing i came to you and told you i needed you to be there for me at this moment and you did nothing you were not a manager at all you did no managerial skills you have no managerial skills your husband's cheating on you sis be for real like be for real i never went back and ever since then like i was just finding jobs that like that just fit me and I didn't have to, you know. Um, NYX lip liner in the color deep brown. So I'm gonna use this to line my lips. I know I said I was gonna wipe off the lip, the uh, lip plumper, but no. So I'm just gonna use this to overline my lips because the UK girlies definitely overline their lips. But let me know in the comments how crazy do you think this story is? Like, how crazy is that, right? Like, what would y'all do? What would you do if you had somebody really step to you on some woman to woman type shit, man to man type shit, and really try to like, really try you at the workplace, like really trying to fight with you. Mind you, I'm so glad that I listened to that inner voice or that spiritual God or whatever that was, that, or God that told me to leave because we both had licenses, honestly. I don't mean, honestly, I don't even know if that lady had a license, but if you have a license, in most cases, she would have pressed charges on me if I really hurt her, if I hit her, right? Now I got a legal case. Now I can't practice dental hygiene because of one little mistake from a person who's miserable and unhappy with themselves and want to see me. She wanted to see me get like that, you know? So it was just like, I'm so glad I didn't even like get into it with her, like how I could have, you know, we just argued a lot. That was all it was. Um, this is my go-to daily, um, lippy. So I'm going to use Eclair and I'm going to use Caramel. And if you don't have Caramel, that's fine. I would suggest Brownie Drip and Tiramisu as your go-to too. Because Tiramisu, let me show y'all. Tiramisu and Brownie Drip look like this, right? And then this. This is Caramel and Eclair. So it's like a little bit more red pinky. And then this one is more, it's a little bit less pinky. It's more like on the like peach side. And then this is more pink, you know? My tiramisu combo. I'm gonna do my tiramisu combo. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do my butter gloss first my brownie drip I've been drinking I've been drinking watermelon put my brownie drip on let me try to zoom let me zoom oh my god all right so y'all can see how my makeup's looking so far and I'm technically not even done because I didn't like put like highlight on or anything like that, but I don't know if I could really call this like a UK girly tutorial. But anyway, leave leave in the comments like how you feel about this makeup tutorial. I always feel like I was just talking the whole time. Anyway, so I'm gonna put my brownie drip on. 
So remember I have my light lip liner on already and my lip plumper. And I overlined my lips like OD OD. So I'm gonna put on my brownie drip on my lip. And this is like the perfect combo for like brown skin girls. Ooh, feel me? I'm gonna put tiramisu in the middle. And you can see how the tiramisu is like pink. Oh my god, I know it's all over my image line. Hold on. Like overlining a little bit too much. How that looks on my lip. So you can see the, the definition between the brown and the pink. And I think it is so pretty. Like, honestly, right here, I'm going to put a little bit more of the brownie. And yeah, that is the perfect, my perfect brown, brown skin girl everyday lip combo. I was gonna contour. I would use, um, I would use that same, same palette, and I would use this dark, dark brown color. And I would just take a fluffy brush, and then I would. Take it up in here. Take it up here. Oh, that look crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Why did I just do that? I just messed up the whole look. Let me blend it out a little bit. Girl, I just fucked it all up. All right, well, at least I got a story time out of it I just look like I got punched in the eye that's really what it looked like so usually I would have had to find like a different contour but the uh, UK girlies put their stuff right there do like this like a brown and then they would have took Highlight and put the highlight here on their nose like this. Take our eyeliner felt tip pen and we will make them all here. Make them all here and here. I look crazy. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Same brush I was using the, the blush to kind of blend that out. I put a little bit too much of the dark concealer on my eye here. So I look very lion-esque and it looks crazy but um i'm gonna take the camera down so you guys can see my full face and y'all can laugh at me in the comments because i really tried to attempt to do uk uk girly makeup and it's hard i still feel like my makeup looks good besides this weird ass contour i just did definitely um failed at this attempt of UK girly makeup, I think. Um, let me turn the lights down so y'all can see. I don't know. Please leave a comment below. I think I would have, oh, I forgot my mascara. That's really what it is, right? Um, This is some drugstore makeup too, I think, MAC Studio. I'm about to take all this makeup off anyway, but please leave in the comments how y'all feel about that story time. What would y'all have done? 
who was wrong. I know I was probably wrong for going in the room and like provoking her by going and like doing all of that. But I feel like the manager still at the same time was wrong for not really doing shit about it. Um, y'all let me know. I think I'm gonna go in my bathroom and show y'all how I look because I don't think you can see from here. Got a lot of I feel me. I gotta feel myself fall.